The week-long series of events put together to celebrate the 60th birthday anniversary of Professor Pato Tommy has kicked off in Lagos Sunday 31st of January 2016 with an evening of entertainment and culture which took place at the Shell Hall of the Muzon Center, Lagos. Attended by an impressive array of friends and admirers of Professor Pato Tommy from different segments of the society, the event was a potpourri of music in both the local and contemporary genres. The big idea was to serenade people with music of yesteryear that brings back the feelings of nostalgia in perfect synergy with music of today. This is to show that the celebrant is a man of all seasons as far as his love for music and entertainment is concerned. The evening was also spiced with drama, comedy, and poetic rendition. The children of the celebrant, Patrick and Isioma Otomi, who interacted with the audience intermittently, spoke about their father's love for music in all its ramifications, drama, and the arts as a whole. Today is the first in a series of activities that will be commemorating and mapping out my dad's life and a lot of his contributions to Nigeria and to the various aspects of the nation from the arts to business to politics. But tonight we look at arts and culture and how he has always taken a keen interest in their importance to Nigeria as a whole. Thank you, Patrick. And it's very true. I think um, anyone who has ever visited us before, just looking at the number of paintings on our wall, you know my dad is a fan of the arts. Um, so we are definitely happy to celebrate all the many artists, musicians, performers of stage who have taken the, t the generous time, they just everyone has limited time, they've, they've generously given their time to be here this evening. All those who came together to put this event all together this evening. We are so grateful for all of them because we could not have done it without them. So thank you all so much for coming. Anchored by Julius Ago, the multifacetedly gifted Nigerian entertainer, comedian, singer, and showbiz impresario. The special evening of entertainment and culture to celebrate Professor Pato Tommy's 60th birthday anniversary also had the inimitable music offering of M.I. who set the whole on fire with the performance of some of his hit songs. Because he's also a very generous person, so many of us decided to be part of this, to celebrate him. Because it's only when you celebrate people that you would be celebrated. I wanted to go down and remind you those days of Catholic Church. You know, roses of Carol. But yourself wouldn't know those ones. You know, he's used to this. Oh, some Really, uh, you would never have said that Pat will be a professor of uh, any sort. Uh, amongst us, you know, with the thought of him as going to be a professor of any sort. He was bright, one of the bright boys in my class, and I can say not brighter than myself. <laughs> but the point is that. Um, 
as self-effacing as he is, he's a very strategic person. He believes in Nigeria, he's believed in Nigeria has not wind, in spite of the surprises and the disappointments that the nation seems to have given us. I continue to admire him. Pat has taken issue to policy and the issue of policy implementation because he's concerned that with uh, the kind of resources we have, with the right policies and programs, studiously implemented, the lot of the, Ni the Nigerian people will be a lot better. Many people like him. Many Nigerians like him. He's very generous with his time, generous with what God has endowed him with and with what he has worked hard for. You are always welcome. So what every quality you've seen today in part, he got it from his father and his mother. And not only runs in part, he runs with every member of my family. He's a great teacher. Um, and um, one thing that shows true um, is teaching is um, the love that he has for Nigeria and the love that he has for our people. Whenever we have any challenges in what we either believe in or what we want to do or think we're meant to be doing, uh, he's always there to help. For me, I think influential in terms of guidance, especially in terms of uh, my personal and career choices. A lot of times, uh, I'm not always very confident in my own abilities. And so he definitely makes me understand that in all that I do, I definitely have to be pushing myself out there, be more forward. And so it's definitely one thing that encouraged me to be more entrepreneurial in my life. My dad is very hardworking and I want to be as hardworking as he is. He's very dedicated to his work, his family, and I want to be as dedicated as he is and disciplined as he is as well. I think one of the things that is most funny for me is that when my dad is like with his friends and all, he reverts back to his 20 year old self. So during that period of time when he's talking to me, he feels as if he's 20 years old and it's so funny because I can kind of relate to him more in a sense because of that. When it comes to asking for stuff, I would usually go to my mom because I don't like to waste daddy's talk. So then I go to mom and mom's like, go and ask your daddy. And it's not that I put that to me, I'm just like, no, don't, don't worry, I don't need it anymore. I don't need daddy to talk. It's all right. So the silence really does help to like moderate what you ask for or moderate how much you ask for. It just generally makes at least me very aware of the things I need versus the things I want. Because if I need it, then I'm going to have to face the silence. Mm -hmm believes in freedom for the children in growing up and at the same time freedom with responsibility. Sidhat, I am so happy for you as you celebrate your 60th birthday and as you celebrate today, my very dear wishes for you is that you go on out, all out and make a blast of the many more years that you have and achieve all your outstanding heart desires. Happy birthday, darling. A peep into the odyssey of Professor Patrick Tommy shows that he is a very special breed of his generation who has breasted the tape far ahead of his contemporaries in his accomplishments. Born on Monday, February 6th, 1956, which coincided with the visit of Queen Elizabeth II of England to Kaduna, Professor Patrick Tommy attended Our Lady of Fatima School in Guzo in present-day Zamfara State, Christ the King College, Onisha, Loyola College, Ibadan, University of Nigeria, Nsuka, where he studied mass communication for his first degree. Professor Patutomi took his search to broaden his academic horizon to Indiana University, United States of America, where he backed his master's degree in business administration, public management, and political science. Professor Patu Tommy backed his PhD degree on September 1981. He shot into national prominence as far back as 1982, when, at the age of 27, he was named the special assistant to President Shehu Shagari on political affairs, which made him the youngest Nigerian at the time appointed into public office. Professor Patu Tommy is a man of many parts. He is also a prolific writer whose incisive columns grace the national dailies. Professor Patrick Tommy is a fellow Nigerian Institute of Management and founding member of Faculty of Lagos Business School of the Pan-Atlantic University, where he served 
as a director of Center for Applied Economics. Professor Patutomi was also the youngest chief executive officer of Volkswagen Nigeria. He was an entrepreneurship teacher at the Lagos Business School and a scholar in residence at the Harvard Business School and the American University in Washington, D.C., United States of America. Professor Patutomi is the founder of the Center for Values and Leadership. He has also served at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce, National Council of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Professor Patutomi has a lot of awards on his shelves. He was voted by Vanguard Newspapers in 2009 as being among the top 10 Nigerian living legends. Through his television program, Patito's Gang, Professor Pato Tommy gave Nigerians a platform to air their views on national issues. The power behind the throne, who is largely instrumental to the success story of Professor Pato Tommy at 60, is his very amiable wife, Dr. Mrs. Otomi, whom he married on September 17, 1985. At the first event to celebrate her husband, Dr. Mrs. Otomi, where the children played the role of perfect hosts, seeing to it that all the guests were well taken care of. In his birthday remarks, Professor Patutomi thanked friends, admirers, and well-wishers who turned up to celebrate with him, throwing some lovely banters characteristically. Murray Bruce goes around impersonating me <laughs> and comedians get into some serious confusion because of this impersonation. There was a time when the Niger Delta was heating up and they would go for the right people to get the right price. And these comedians kept saying that I was kidnapped. And then the people sent Shell a ransom note. And Shell looked at the photograph and said, this one doesn't work for us. Sorry, the truth I cannot be kidnapped because I was the one giving them lessons in how to arrange that business. <laughs> how can you kidnap a person that you are going to pay toll to? But Alibaba and Co. continued. Every time I see Alibaba, <laughs> and Alibaba says, you know, because in these very serious matters, he accepts that we are almost the same. You know, Ben is 60 next week. So we, we keep uh, running like that. The only thing he has refused to do is exchange bank accounts with me. I mean, Ben has promised me solidarity, but he has refused to compromise on that matter. But I'm beginning to believe Alibaba. Alibaba said that he left the 40 thieves in the Senate. Now the budget is missing. I don't know if they're from Alibaba's company, but. I mean, it's the budget today. What will miss tomorrow? We don't know. And so, we have to carry out... Hey, this is real serious matter. Exorcism on Alibaba. We have to invite Holy Ghost fire so that he, we will be sure where he has left his 40 thieves. The celebration of Professor Pato Thomas' 60th birthday anniversary continues on Tuesday, 2nd February 2016 with the Entrepreneurship and Leadership Summit at Pan-African University, Lekki, Lagos at 11 a.m. On Wednesday, 3rd February 2016, a colloquium will hold at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, Victoria Island, Lagos at 10 a.m. Thursday, the 4th of February 2016 has been slated for a book launch at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs at 10 a.m. Friday, 5th February 2016, will feature a lecture at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, Lagos, at 10 a.m.
The 60th birthday anniversary activities of Professor Pato Tommy ends with a Thanksgiving service at the Catholic Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Help at Musa Yaradua Street, Victoria Island, Lagos by 10 a.m. and a grand reception at the Shell Hall of Muzon Center, Lagos. Happy birthday, Professor Pat Otome.